Aisha Yusuf gets recognized as she makes an influential list in the UK. Aisha Yusuf has been selected as one of the BBC 100 inspiring and influential women from around the world for 2020. The BBC network which revealed that the list contained 100 women who are leading change and making a difference during these turbulent times selected the Nigerian activist alongside other prominent women across the world. Recall that Aisha Yusuf has been very visible in the protest against police brutality popularly termed as ENSAS as she inspired thousands of Nigerian youths to stand up for their rights. Her photos became a sensation and symbol of liberty and it is not surprising she has been selected as one of the most inspiring and influential 100 women across the world by BBC. However, according to BBC, the criteria for the selection were based on the theme of this year's list, women who led change and a measurement of their regional representation. With all that Aisha has done, she really led a change movement and deserves all the credit for this award and recognition. Thank you for listening to this news. Yes, she deserves it. She deserves the award. I personally also second to, to that. If I am in a position to give her an award that is even more than that, I will do that because she has really, 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 really done well and she has represented so well in Nigeria. You see, this is what we are talking about. You see, um, Nigeria is a country that, that you hardly find people that can stand up for the truth. Fearless people, fearless and courageous people that can stand up for the truth. The corruptness of this country has made this country not to be able to speak up the truth. Some persons have that zeal to come out and speak, but the fear of this country, the fear that they may be armed, has deprived them of that. But then Aisha Yusuf is exempted. She has made as she has presented herself as a living sacrifice, not minding what is going to happen to her. She doesn't want to know. She doesn't want to know you. She doesn't want, she doesn't care. You go on and do anything to her, she doesn't mind. She went on with what she's doing, believing that with what she's doing, she's going to save life. You know, we have people that have dedicated them, themselves to, to save lives. There is what is called um, corporal works of mercy and this corporal works of mercy is one of the um, sacrifices that um, people are bound to to carry out personally just like visiting the sick you know um, bury the dead you know visit the prisoners you understand and all of that giving arms to the helpless these are corporal works of mercy that people can you know take up and say this is what i would like to do to please god to please god for all that he has done for me but i tell you that we human beings many of us don't look at into something like this things of this kind instead we are only pleased with what we do I, I was um, opportunity to be at a seminar where um, a, a, Christ, a, a, a seminar organized by a Christian forum, you know, and um, a lawyer happens to be the speaker, the speaker in that seminar. So the lawyer was like speaking on the love of God and um, and and um, and also how to make heaven, you know. So I was like I was so disturbed that this is coming from a, a, a lawyer knowing fully well who, who a lawyer is and what they do 
you know so i was so disturbed so i just allowed the lawyer to finish with his preachings and all, and all of that so i have to call uh, so so when, when it was question and answer answers um, time i raised up my hand and i said sir um i have a question and he said okay i said you are a lawyer you and you are preaching to us that we should not do this we should not do that that if we do this we will not go to heaven and if we do that we will not go to heaven huh okay you you are a lawyer i was the one presenting this question you understand you're a lawyer and you know fully well your your profession and what you do as a lawyer and you not tell me and you're a prominent lawyer at that a known lawyer is a prominent and known lawyer you understand now you will not tell me that as a lawyer that you have not done so many evil things because i know that lawyers that you be prominent and unknown you must have been able to defend many lies that that may have brought brought a, a, a victory she understand most of the victories that uh, lawyers get um, are mostly centered on lies. If there is anything that exists in, in the field of law, it's lie. Lies. And that is why they are known as king of lies. So, I told this man, now, you as a lawyer that tell lies, how then do you please God? How do you please God that will make God to have mercy on you? Because after you finish telling these lies and you plead from God, plead to God that you don't want to commit this sin again, you still go back to tell this lie again. And you know how God doesn't welcome things of this kind. So how do you please this God? So he not told my son, my, my son. You won't blame me. That's what I, I put it. How he put it. You won't blame me. I found myself in this profession. But then, there is a way I please God. And I said, and I said, how? Oh, good. As a lawyer, I've put a lot of people behind bars and also in jail. So what I do is I try my best to make sure that once in a month. I visit the prison, ask questions from those that are, that are in jail, what and what have brought them into this jail. So when they tell me, what I do is I will seek for, for an appeal on their behalf, bring them back to court, then the person that actually did what took them to court will now be reinvited to the court. And I try my best to walk, speak on their behalf without collecting a cover for them and I win the case and rescue them from, from jail. That is how. That is what I do. You can see that. So that is one of the sacrifices, my viewers. So let's learn to make sacrifice. Alright? So please, I don't know what your own comments concerning all that has just been said. Give me free to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to receive more updates. Thank you.